Get attention. Salud. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sujin Park. My name is Andrew Kim. My name is Yumin Lim. So, have you ever heard of a case named Taedimdong Police Officer? Or have you ever watched a video that addressed that case? Today, our group, Hailstorm, will talk about and introduce you about the case named Taedimdong Police Officers and give you a two proposals how to solve that problem. And this is the overview of our presentation. First of all, uh, case outline and public opinions will be presented by me. And then Tung Chan will talk about the problem of this case. And then Yumin will talk about the solutions. And then we have a discussion section. So if you have any opinions or if you have any questions, feel free to talk with us. So the case name is Terimbo Police Officers. 10 p.m. on May 13th, two police officers went to Terimdo to catch and to arrest the two drunk, one male and one female, as you can see. So, but they couldn't arrest the drunk easily because one of the drunk kept using abusive and violent language to the male officers. Uh, so, as the male officers tried to tell the drunk obstruction of justice, which is the drunk deliberately disturbing the police duties. The drunk hit the male officer's face, and then the rough arrest began. Uh, so while the male officers tried to catch the one of the drunk, the woman officers tried to catch the other one, but she, as she couldn't can't arrest him easily, she even asked for help to citizens. And this became a big issue for a while in Korea uh, because the citizens who helped the police officer uploaded the recorded video on the internet. Next. So we'll see a brief video. Can you turn off the mic, please? So he tried to notice the drunk, the obstruction of justice, which I mentioned earlier. And the drunk slept him, and then the rough arrest began. <laughs> So, as you can see, the woman police officers call for a help to citizens. And as he recorded this video, and then he uploaded it on the internet. And I, as I told you earlier, this became a big issue in Korea. Then, what are the opinions in our society? There are two contrasting opinions. First of all, Commissioner, who is a chief of Korea police officer, and Ha Taegyong, who is a member of Korea National Assembly, insisted that the women's police officer's fitness standards should be raised. However, on the other hand, Ho Chang Won, who is also a member of National Assembly and a former police officer, Organization of women, uh, Korean women, and other experts insisted that this uh, problem, the main problem with this issue, is a low status of police officers' authority, not a woman police officers. So, based on these two contrasting opinions, we draw a conclusion that this case has a true problems. So, the Dongchan officers will tell you guys about those problems.
Thank you, Susan Officer. And now <laughs> I'm going to talk about each other country's policies related with physical fitness tests and how police can deal with the criminals compared with Korea. So the first country we're going to look at is the U.S. And this graph is a score table of the one police department. Since the U.S. is a very huge country, it has various test categories. But all the states' tests basically include these three categories, which is sit-up, which is we know the kidney, push-up, parkour penny, and 1.5 mile run, which is about 2.4 kilometers. And as you can see from this score table, the minimum number of push-ups women police officers have to do is 15 times and 32 times of sit-up in one minute and 15 and a half minutes of 1.5 mile run. Next slide. The U.S. also has specific regulations of dealing with citizens who are basically making a mess. So in Washington, as an example, there are four cases where police can use firearms to the criminal and three cases where police cannot use their firearms. <coughs> and also, in terms of shooting the criminal, there is also a regulation about where to shoot the criminal. To take Washington as an example again, the <coughs> police officer can shoot a criminal's chest twice and their head once. So these regulations are very specific as you can, as I had the research on it. And also, and since the police are completely aware of what they have to do when they are faced with those kind of situations, they are completely, completely doing their task very well. And also, the government supports the police financially by about $5,000 a year. And this is for when the police gets accused of being over-responding, the government pays that money to have an authority for them. Next slide. The next country we are going to look at is Singapore. Uh, there, there is a famous examination in Singapore called IPPT, which stands for Individual Physical Proficiency Test. There used to be five stations, which means five categories, for measuring the physical fitness, but nowadays it has changed to three stages. It has become much simpler and more efficient. As you can see in this score table, the total point is 100 points, and the one minute push up and one minute sit up each account for 25 points. So the remaining 50 points is for the 2.4 kilometer run, just like the US. And also, there's actually a score table and even a calculation system when you search it in Google. But since it's complex, I try to summarize in my own words. So, so in summary, women police officers have to do at least 13 to 15 push ups in one minute, and the other two categories are similar or a bit easier than the US. And also, the laws related with handling the criminals in Singapore is very rare because the law itself is very strict. So even holding the firearms can lead to a death penalty. So as a result, the case of criminals resisting <coughs> to police by using their weapons is very rare in these kind of countries. And also, if they are so, the police officer has the type priority, not the citizens. Finally, we will look at Korea. And this is a score table produced by Gyeongchalchong, and this is for the female police officers. And in this, there are five categories, which is run, run, sit up, hand grip, hang yang, and push-ups. And as you can see from this number, the least number of push-ups women police officers have to do is 10 times. And this is much less than the other countries like the US and the Singapore. Also, like this picture, women police officers have to do, has to do knee, knee push-ups, which means having their knees attached to the floor while doing the push-ups. So this makes a police officer for women much easier to pass the exam. And this is a simple picture of police manuals for handling the criminals. So the resistance has five types, which is conform, disobey, passive resistance, violence and threat, and finally fatal attack. And for each type, the police can do up to verbal control, handcuffs, baton, gas barrier, and a pistol. Although this graph may seem well organized, this is actually very ambiguous because the police have to subjectively judge how, what type of resistance the suspect is doing belongs to. And also, the police can get into more trouble because since the government puts more emphasis on the citizens' human rights, the police can be accused for over-responding or even sexual assaults. Next slide. To sum up, in terms of physical fitness, the Korea's test is much easier for a woman to become a police officer and in terms of dealing with criminals, the context of police enforcing the law is much more ambiguous. And now, UN officer will talk about the solutions for this problem.
So let me tell you about two solutions we thought about. We focused on two things. First, <coughs> we need to strengthen the standards of physical, physical fitness test or police test. This is the men's and women's uh, standards in police exam in Korea. Um, you can see that the gap of gap between male and female in Hungary is very big. Uh, we think it's especially important because police have a duty to test criminals properly even if they resist. And also <coughs> women can do push-ups on their, with their knees on the floor, which makes passing the test very easy. So women have to do normal push-ups just like men. And according to a little search on the internet, one of the opinions of many netizens was there is no distinction between male and female in police work. Police, since police play an important role in catching criminals and maintaining security, they must meet the proper conditions required by society regardless of their gender. Next. And second is to ease the standards for police force exercise. So this picture is uh, the response manual of police in Korea. Um, this manual allows police officers to respond very weakly, so cannot prevent additional crimes. For example, if police respond, uh, if police verbally control the criminal with a gun, the criminal can fire a gun. So uh, we have to we have to prevent cr crimes not after the criminal already shot someone, but before firing a gun. So uh, we think it's necessary to improve the current, current response manual so that police officers can be more powerful when dealing with criminals. But however, there are more, more growing concerns about over suppression. So we suggest that uh, regularly conduct the shooting training and its verification. And also we talked about the two solutions. Now, Sujin officers will lead the discussion session. So this is our discussion sections, and you can see our questions on your handout also. So the first question is,